Hello everyone. In the last tutorial, we have learned about DQs. What DQs help us with is inserting any value in the start of an array in quick time, in order of one time. Uh, now what we have here is the problem of inserting any value in the middle, which which requires every array or vector or dq to be reordered. So to solve it, we have lists. Now let's see how this solves the problem. So uh, this is how list is implemented. Internally, the list is a doubly connected linked list. So we do not have any random access for it as it doesn't have any indexes. We are inserting 0 at the end and I will be inserting a lot of values so that we have something to work on. Uh, let me remind you that this what I am doing iterating the list through for loop is a very bad idea but I am not exactly iterating the list I am just adding 10 values at the back so this is fine but whenever you have to iterate the whole list it's best that we use iterator which we'll be learning later on but since we do not have random access here we do not have a random access here and it throws error we can't access any value directly so what we have to do is create an iterator what iterator is it stores a position of entries it stores the position of say first one or it's kind of a pointer which can have the address so let's see what iterators are here but we'll be doing iterators again properly here we'll just use iterators to understand the lists and come back to this later on so l dot begin returns the value of the first element in list it returns the address and l dot end returns the value at the end and what i'm doing here is i'm finding 8 in between the first and the last element and this find algorithm is included in the algorithm standard library so what we have in the iterator itr is the address of 8 so now you must have got a little bit idea about iterators however if you haven't there is nothing to worry, we will be learning later on. Now, I am inserting 5 at this position, at the position of 8. So, what we can do is, we can even erase the values. I am again finding, say, let me find 7 and delete it. This makes deletion, insertion very easy in the list. So let's print everything. But for printing, since we do not have random access, we will have to take the use of iterators. Now let's see again how to use iterators for this. So I'm initializing a iterator it which takes the value of the first which takes the value of address of the first element now let me check if iterator is not equal to and and i'm incrementing the value of iterator which helps us to traverse the whole list and let me print out the value of iterator Remember how we printed the value at a pointer? It's the same for iterator. So let me end the line. 
let it look neat and here we go and here we go 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 remember we inserted 5 before 8 and then deleted 5 so what we have is this lists make this very simple and very fast there's one more advantage with list a function called splice let me add here splice uh, you can search this in tax you can google it but what it does it takes a portion of values from other lists and puts it in a list where you want to put in order of one time and this functionality is provided by no other container we even have for something called forward list which is a singly connected link list and has same functionalities so this is it for list guys in the next tutorial we'll be learning about sets iterators multi sets and lot of standard template library functions so stay tuned guys and happy coding thank you